So take a movie like The Wizard of Oz. The protagonist is clearly Dorothy. And we think of that lovely song she sings, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, right? But she talks about troubles and clouds, right? She wants to go someplace else. She doesn't feel like her home really is a home. She's an orphan. She's the only young person there. She's dressed in these crisp little dress. Everybody else has got work clothes. She doesn't even have a job. She gets in the way of the people in terms of their jobs. And so it takes her to, to have to take this trip to Oz, classic hero's journey construction, right? Where she has to go leave the ordinary world, go to the extraordinary world. And through those experiences there, learn when she comes back that there's no place like home. But the characters she intersects with are pivotal in that experience. So for example, the nemesis character, Miss Gulch, and she says, you wicked old witch. Well, she becomes the wicked witch of the West, right? So providing opposition. She wants those ruby red slippers. And she's uh, you know, a threat to Dorothy. But then there's a mentor character, and that's Glinda the Good Witch. You know, those shoes must be very, go see the, yeah, follow the Olympic Road. That's providing insight. That's what mentor character. She wakes them up when they've fallen asleep. Remember the poppies. She wakes them up with the snowfall. So she's an, uh, and she provides this, the biggest piece of insight at the very end of the movie, said, where she says, Dorothy, you've had the power all along. You just had to realize it. And so that's a mentor figure. <clears throat> the trickster character is clearly Professor Marvel, the Wizard of Oz, you know, who shape shifts. There's actually that actor, Frank Morgan, plays five different roles in the movie, which is oh. like a, a perfect example of a, of a trickster shape shifting. Um, and then the attractor character, Scarecrow, Tin Man and Cowardly Lion, who become her best friends. And because they are related to Hunk, Hickory, and Zeke back in, on the earth, that, back in you know, Kansas, that is a bridge for her to feel a connection now to Kansas. So when she comes back home, she's got Annie M and Uncle Henry and those three. So we see those five, you know, uh, those five archetypes. But I could go through Casablanca and Silence of the Lambs and just movie after movie where this is the case.